Victor's life is dominated by cheeseburgers. Burgers are so good. Eating them morning, noon, and night. Every meal of every day for almost three decades. Victor is in the midst of a major health crisis. Now his health is in dire straits. The foods that I eat and the pills that I'm taking are just fighting each other. And and unfortunately, the cheeseburgers won. And his marriage is falling apart. If he continues this way, I don't know how much more I can take. With one week of intense therapy, can specialist Mike Dow and JJ Virgin break this dangerous addiction? I've been trying to do this on my own. I can't. I need help. In order to save his marriage and his life. Victor is a true addict. I just can't see myself doing it. My name is Victor Munoz, and I'm a freaky eater. Victor lives on cheeseburgers and cheeseburgers alone. I love burgers. He eats four burgers a day, 28 each week, which is nearly 1,500 burgers every single year. I don't eat salad. I don't eat steak. I stay away from chicken. I don't eat any vegetables or fruit. I love fishing, but there is no way in hell I will eat a fish. Burgers are so good. From his burgers, Victor consumes over 88 pounds of fat every year and approximately 1.3 million milligrams of sodium. The reason why I enjoy cheeseburgers so much is because I know exactly what's going on inside there. It's simple. I like it a lot. But Victor keeps the extent of his burger obsession hidden from his wife of 11 years. Adriana thinks maybe I'll have three burgers a week. I'm really having over 20. In contrast to her husband, Victor's wife loves nothing more than to experiment with new foods. I'm going to culinary school. I love all food. I don't eat anything she makes. Nine to 10 times, I'll stop on the way home. Let me get a uh, cheeseburger plain. And get rid of the evidence and come in the house and then just kind of pick at what she made. Every time Victor doesn't eat something that I make, I take it very personal. I know it breaks her heart, you know, but I, it breaks my heart even more because you should see the spreads that she makes, and I just don't touch it. All done. Victor's aversion to his wife's healthy dinners also makes an impression on the couple's two children. It's difficult for me to push healthy eating habits on my children if Victor is sitting there with a hamburger. Dad doesn't eat healthy. Victor has been a freaky eater his entire life, refusing to eat even as a toddler. I would be so happy if I could get him to eat one good meal during the day. At age five, Victor discovered cheeseburgers, and from that point, would eat nothing else. I would have to make the same thing every day, cheeseburgers for breakfast, cheeseburgers for lunch, and cheeseburgers for dinner. When Victor and I first started going out, we went out to eat hamburgers a lot, and I was fine with it. I don't think I really noticed it until I wanted to start trying new foods, and I couldn't because of Victor. Over time, Victor became afraid of all other foods and insisted that his burgers be made a very specific way. Having lettuce, tomato, or onions touching my burger, I feel like I've been violated. If there's a piece of lettuce hanging on the edge of my bun, you know, I'll rip off like half the bun, if not the whole thing. In his mid-20s, Victor started to see and feel the side effects of his diet. Victor started gaining weight and started having some health issues. Now 34, Victor has ballooned up to 260 pounds. Two years ago, he was diagnosed with diabetes. I don't feel good at all. Victor's doctor prescribed him medication to keep his blood sugar down. The foods that I eat and the pills that I'm taking are just fighting each other, and I really feel sick. I felt like I had to choose between my pills and the cheeseburgers, and unfortunately, the cheeseburgers won. As Victor's health has deteriorated, so has his relationship with his wife and kids. When he gets home from work, our son wants to play with him, and Victor doesn't have the energy for it. I'm tired, a lot of sheep. And that, of course, affects our time with our kids because Victor will just lay on the couch, and he'll say he doesn't feel good. I don't want to see where this is going to take him. I don't want to stick along for this ride. I don't want it. If I was by myself, let me rot. 
but I'm not. I got a family and I, I gotta take care of them. I am definitely trapped by burgers. I've been trying to do this on my own my whole life. I can't, I, I need help. With his marriage and health on the line, Victor has reached out to freaky eater specialists, Dr. Mike Dow and JJ Virgin. Over the next week, they'll use intense nutritional and psychological therapy to help him reclaim his life. I'm JJ Virgin, and I'm a board-certified nutrition specialist. My name is Dr. Mike Dow. I'm a psychotherapist specializing in eating disorders and addictive behaviors. Dr. Mike Dow. Hi, how you doing, Doctor? It's clear that Victor can no longer handle this on his own. The consequences are adding up. He's feeling scared for his life and his health. So tell us what brought you here. Because my diet consists of pretty much burgers, and it's killing my health. I guess the obvious question here is, why haven't you stopped? There's nothing else that I want. Why couldn't it be that you'd have chicken or a salad or a piece of fruit? Oh, I, I can't physically get it in my mouth. Now, what about your wife? What does she think about the number of burgers you eat every day? She doesn't really know how many I really eat. She doesn't, I don't tell her. I mean, it's amazing she hasn't left me already. So what did those burgers actually mean to you? To me, the burgers are just safe. I, I don't know why it's progressed since I was a child. Addiction is a progressive disease. Victor is a true addict. What's more is that he can't control himself around his drug of choice. Victor, I think it's time that we went and had a talk with your wife. Are you willing to take that first difficult step? OK. All right, let's go. Okay. I think that's when I pretty much swallowed my heart. There's no going back at this point. Coming up, will Victor finally come clean to his wife? You need to trust me. Victor's obsession with cheeseburgers has him struggling with obesity and diabetes. While his wife believes that he only eats a few burgers each week, he's finally about to confess the truth. The fact that Victor is not telling his wife about his burger eating behavior tells me he's a little worried that she may not stick around. <sighs> Adriana, this is Dr. Mike Dow. How are you? Dr. Dow, this is Adriana. Adriana, nice to meet you. Wondering why I'm here? Yes. <laughs> Full disclosure from Victor to his wife is an essential part of treatment because he's at the point where he needs help. I, I haven't been real truthful. Some of the things that you don't know is that a lot of times when I leave here in the morning, I'll, you know, I'll stop at the, at the burger place, pick up food. Um, and a lot of times when I'm coming home and I'll grab food minutes before I come in the house. Um, something else. My, my sugar is extremely out of control. My blood pressure is just really high. The doctor, again, doubled, you know, my medication. Why? I'm not, because I'm not taking it. I don't, I don't leave you in the dark because I don't think, you know, you should know. I, I've, we've been together for so long. I think I've, I've more than have proven that I will be here through thick and thin. And you, you know, you need to trust me. But you need to help yourself. You need to help me help you. I will do whatever you want me to do, but it cannot be more of an effort on my part than yours. I mean, you're the one that's not feeling well. You're the one whose health is, is in jeopardy. I felt very betrayed. I don't understand why he feels the need to keep those things from me. Victor, it sounds like you have been putting emotional things and needs onto burgers. Burgers are what make you feel safe. I don't want you to put your needs for safety onto a food that is gonna kill you. Dr. Dow made a good point, you know? I guess I, f I find safety in burgers because they're simple. And it sounded like he was trying to get me to say, like, if I have to find safety in something, find it in my wife, you know? I mean, that's what she's there for. Victor, it's time to start putting away that denial about the consequences of your behaviors because they're not just affecting you. Right. They are affecting this entire family. Let's do it. With Victor at this point, after these many years, seeing is believing. I will support him, but it's not up to me, it's up to him. 
Now that Victor has finally come clean to his wife, Dr. Dow wants to show them both how the addiction has been affecting the family with a dose of shock therapy. It's important for Victor to actually see how many burgers he is eating in a year. Hi there, I'm JJ, I'm a nutrition expert. Nice to meet you. By seeing it, he can really come to terms with it. Got something to show you, come with me. Okay. I figured it wasn't gonna be good. I assumed she was gonna show me or tell me something bad. real burgers in there. When the burgers fell out of the truck, the first thing I did was look over at Adriana. So Victor, what do you think all of this represents? I'm assuming it represents the amount of burgers I eat in a five year span. Try a one year span. Wow. 1,460 burger boxes right here. What's it like to see them all here? It's just, just disgusting. It was very shocking and a little sickening, really. Victor, is it any big shock that you've got diabetes? Apparently not. The question is really, when's the blindness gonna set in? When are you gonna have to have something amputated? When's the stroke happening or the heart attack? Victor is in the midst of a major health crisis. What's it going to take? It's definitely going to take a change. I really hope Victor is able to make this change. He has been engaging in this addictive behavior for decades. There's a lot that's going to be difficult. So it's time for you to make a decision, Victor. This or your life and your family? My life and family, for sure. Coming up. Victor's commitment wavers. I just can't see myself doing it. <sighs> With his burger addiction destroying his health and his marriage, Victor has finally resolved to make a change. Which do you choose? My life and family, for sure. But in order to move forward, Dr. Dow will have to help him overcome his paralyzing fear of new foods using graded exposure therapy. Graded exposure therapy is, in layman's terms, baby steps. And those first baby steps are gonna use an existing behavior, an existing place, an existing food, and we're just going to add to it. I would like for you to order a burger with lettuce. <laughs> just straight lettuce? Just straight lettuce, burger with lettuce. Let me have a cheeseburger with just lettuce. I have never ordered a burger with lettuce, ever. It made me extremely nervous. So, how are you feeling right now about it? Uh, I can smell the lettuce. It's really grossing me out right uh -huh. now. All I want from you, Victor, is one bite. I'm used to picking off one or two pieces of lettuce. This thing was covered. I didn't know if I was going to be able to eat it or not. I've been trying so hard. Damn. All right. All right, I'm going to do this. You have to understand that I'm asking him to do something that he has not done for over 25 years? I realize that I have to do this. And if I want to get better, then I have to take the first step. Man, that's hard. After I started chewing it for a while and swallowed it, I realized, you know, it wasn't the end of the world. The sky didn't fall. So what did you just learn? That I can do this? Yeah. Encouraged, Dr. Dow wants to present an even bigger challenge, a food Victor has never tried in his entire life. Victor, I'd like you to order a burger with lettuce and mushrooms. Mushrooms? Mushrooms. Seriously. I'm stressing out. You know, what do, I don't know what mushrooms taste like. I've never had one before. Uh, I could just imagine them tasting like dirt. Wow. So that's what a mushroom looks like, huh? That is what a mushroom looks like. <laughs> Let's find out what a mushroom tastes like, more importantly. OK. Mushroom. All right. <clears throat> I wanted to throw up, but then I just kept chewing, kind of fought through it, and realized 
And mushrooms are really good. How's it taste? Not bad. What I love about that is Victor is not only extinguishing his fear, he's also discovering that there are some foods that he likes. You want to finish that? Or are you done? I'll take another bite. Yeah, all right. With Victor finally willing to try new foods. You should be thrilled, they're burgers. Now there's not a beef patty on the table. JJ wants to start him on the path to healthier eating. What I like to do in retraining people's taste buds and getting them to eat healthy is to take the familiar, that's their unhealthy habit, and replace it. Mm -hmm. Here's what we're gonna do. Our job is to find some new burger tastes that you like that are good for you. Okay. Ready to start? Okay. Okay, pick it up. Okay. JJ has Victor try a bite of each of the new burgers. Chicken. Well, that just didn't taste right. Veggie and spinach. Until he finds one that he can stomach. Turkey. It's not bad. So you can do that one? Mm, it's got a lot of flavor in it. The burgers were the big unknown, but they were still familiar. When I moved into the condiments, I mean, here are vegetables. This is a man who runs from vegetables. There's just so much going on, I just don't know. Unfortunately, that caused a lot of anxiety. I just can't see myself doing it. There was too many flavors I couldn't wrap my head around. You know, I was just, I'm not used to all of that. This week, this is gonna be your dinner each night. Now see, I'm playing ball with you because I'm giving you burgers. Right. But it's gonna be a healthier choice burger. Right. And you're not gonna overthink it. I mean, if I could stop overthinking, then yeah. That would be awesome. Is this a deal? So, yeah, it's a deal. I'm scared that I might go back. Even today, I don't want to. I don't feel like I am, but my track record shows otherwise. Coming up, with his life on the line, can Victor stick to JJ's plan? My head is really playing mind games on me right now. Dr. Dow and JJ have given Victor the means to overcome his burger addiction. Now, he faces the daunting task of continuing on his own. That evening, Adriana makes a healthy meal of chicken burgers for the whole family. And for the first time in a long while, Victor actually eats one of her new recipes. Eating with the family is definitely great. You know, I mean, all four of us are sitting down and eating the exact same thing. And it's less stressful on Adriana. It's, it's been great. How is it? It's good. It feels great to make a meal and know that we're all gonna sit down and eat the same thing. After two days back on his medication, Victor is already noticing a difference. I've been like headache free for the last two days. That's so new to me. I haven't felt that in such a long time. Waking up in the morning is really different now. I mean, I, I'm waking up with more energy. I just feel like I'm ready for life. But by the third day, Victor is struggling with his healthy burger options. The menu that JG wrote up started to remind me of burgers too much. I wanted a real burger. You know, I felt myself going through withdrawals, but I haven't cheated on this at all so far. As long as I can keep the cravings down, then, you know, I don't have to like food to eat it. After seven full days, Victor still hasn't touched a cheeseburger, and he rewards himself by going fishing. But even out at sea, he can't avoid temptation. It's a struggle in the boat because fishing boats have the best burgers in the world. Everybody ordered a burger, and I was sitting there with a granola bar. <sighs> well, every time I was reeling in a new fish, I kept saying, do I really want to eat this one? And I would just yank that hook right out of his mouth. No. <laughs> and then just go on to the next one. Dinner. There we go. Dinner. That same day, Dr. Dow and JJ have returned to plan a barbecue with Victor's wife and family to celebrate his successes and help him face his biggest challenge yet. Victor loves to fish, but sadly enough, he won't eat it. <laughs> I see you brought something for us. Yeah, I guess I did. <laughs> so you ready to eat what you've caught? Yeah, what the hell? 
All right, let's do this. <laughs> Thinking about eating fish is making me really nervous. Thank you. What do we got here? I think we have bass. OK. It's really going through my head like crazy right now. I don't know if I'm ready. There it is. There it is. <laughs> There's a lot of things going through my mind, like, one, why uh, do I really want to do this? Breaks apart real easy, huh? I'm really trying hard to keep my mind off of the fish. <laughs> That's good. All right, <laughs> success. Victor has made those first steps, which are always the hardest. He is now going to have the self-confidence that he needs to continue to make progress and change. You ever think you were going to be here? No. Nah. Before starting this, I came to the realization that I was going to die young. But now, I feel like I can do it. Hey, Jenna, how are you feeling over there? Yeah, I can't believe it. I never thought that this would happen. Dr. Dow and JJ gave me my husband back, and I owe it to them. Victor was really at risk for having, you know, an early heart attack. Now, not only will he be able to be there for his kids, but he'll also be able to be a fantastic role model for them. <laughs> I feel like I've been in a coma. You know, I feel like I just woke up, and everything is just so new, and it's exciting. Cheers to your success.